What's up, everybody? It's your girl, D here with 8th House Energy, here to bring you a random read. This is for the collective. All right. Uh, let's see what we got going on. What energies we got for the collective? What is going on with the collective? What information do they need to know? What do they need to hear? What's up with the collective energy? One more shuffle for the collective. What's going on with the collective energy? It is, what is this? This is Saturday night, July 3rd. About to be July 4th. Hope you guys are doing all right. Hope you're enjoying your holiday weekend for those who celebrate. Uh, most of my, I have a few people who watch the channel who are over in the UK and other countries, but the majority of the people who watch the channel are in the state. So I hope everybody is enjoying their holiday. For those of you who are not in the States, it's 4th of July weekend here. Tomorrow is actually July 4th, Independence Day for the United States of America. All right. So let's see what we got going on. You know, America is a Cancerian country. All right. Cancer by native. So, and it is cancer season. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got going on here. And shout out to the Cancers and happy birthday to y'all. Okay, we got the King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy. What's going on? Why we got the King of Wands coming out? The first card to come out. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Let me see what else is coming on with this so I can talk to you about this. What else is going on? What's the, what's the challenge in the situation? We got the King of Wands as the current situation. King of Wands is somebody who's disloyal, okay? It doesn't mean it's a man or a woman. It don't matter. They're disloyal. They can be cowardice by nature. Uh, somebody who will turn their back on you. They can be violent, okay? That's the current energy here. What's the challenge in the situation here? What is up with this King of Wands? What's the challenge here? I would say that it's a challenge as it is. We got the Empress energy in reverse. That's the challenge here. This Empress energy... That's Venus energy. Now, when Venus is in reverse, she, okay, when Venus is upright, she's all about love, compassion, um, indul you know, healthy indulgences, you know, uh, materialistic, you know, money. When she's in reverse, she's a money hungry individual. Well, it, you know, it doesn't have to be a woman. You know, the feminine energy represents your feel your emotions and your feelings. So somebody is is being greedy. Somebody's very materialistic, somebody self indulgent. Okay. They could be going after someone or trying to take advantage of someone and putting someone in, in lack. Okay. When we, we start off with this energy here, yeah, I feel like this this energy here. Mm -hmm. What is this going on? What's the spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors talking about with this? What do they want you to keep in mind? What do they want you to keep in mind? What do they want you to focus on? What's going on here? All right, one too many cards. What's going on here? What do we need to, what's the universe want us to pay attention to with this situation, in this scenario? One too many. Can I just get one, please? Thank you. Thank you. We got the two of one, the two of pentacles in reverse. Okay, that's Capricorn energy. So this is somebody who uh, drops something. Okay, they were juggling something, and they drop either both or they drop one. Or this is just somebody who cannot make a decision as to what they want to do. Okay, the two of coin in reverse could represent someone who's in, un, indecisive, someone who can't commit to a situation or a circumstance, can't make a choice, don't know what they should put their effort and energy into, or they're putting their effort and energy into too many things, and it's, it's overwhelming. Where's your head at in this situation? More Leo energy in reverse. Is somebody scared of somebody? With the strength energy here? Or is somebody just really in their lower level Leo energy? What is going on? What is going on? What's the outcome? We're going to break all this down. 
what's the outcome here? The strength is is somebody okay okay so the outcome is the page of coin in reverse. All these cards came out in reverse. What is going on, people? Overall energy, another in reverse. Page of swords. Somebody's not seeing something. Somebody's not getting something. Uh, there's a eureka moment that's not happening. Like somebody just don't get it. Uh, but this also could talk about people not speaking, not talking. Or if somebody's talking, they're, they're saying very little. They're not being honest. Um, communication issues of some sort. Let's get to the bottom of this. This is King of Wands in reverse energy here. Somebody could be afraid to say something. This is King of Wands in reverse. You have that clarified with waiting in reverse. So somebody's extremely impatient. Somebody's pissed off too. Somebody wants to take action. They're very impatient with the waiting energy in reverse. Somebody's antsy. I get antsy energy. The challenge is the Empress energy in reverse. So the challenge is, is this person is greedy. Like somebody wants to pounce or prance on something really quickly. What's this Empress energy in reverse? Does somebody want to end something? Somebody want to leave somebody? What is this Empress energy in reverse? The challenge here. Service energy. Servant energy or service when I see this card, this service energy talks to me about somebody who is waiting on somebody. So maybe the challenge is that somebody is not paying anybody attention. Somebody's ignoring somebody. Somebody's not giving someone anything. I feel like somebody's trying to take something from somebody. What's this two of pentacles in reverse, please? I don't like this energy. What's this two of pentacles in reverse? What is this going on here? Now, the, the Empress energy in reverse, she could be a whore too, okay? She could be somebody who sleeps around because we got a lot of energy here, fire energy in reverse. So this is somebody who can't hold their loins. Ooh, okay, we got the... um child card in reverse now this could be one of two things this could be you know when we have the child upright it could be that there is a new child if it's not a child or some something about a child or someone's with child uh, okay so if it's not somebody who's with child or it's not about a child it doesn't have to be a child it could be about a new beginning well when it's in reverse this could be a couple of things it could be you know somebody um doesn't want a new beginning so somebody's like, no, leave it alone. There's not going to be a new beginning. Or someone could say, okay, there's not a child. So the challenge is, is somebody may be, okay, with the Empress energy in reverse, this could represent somebody who is a mother, okay? Uh, hmm. Is somebody trying to get somebody pregnant? Is somebody, what's this uh, strength energy? Where your head is at the strength energy in reverse? You're the king of wands in reverse. This this person is the king of wands in reverse. This person is antsy. Okay? They're antsy. They want to they wanna sleep with someone. The challenge is, is this person may be denying them. They're denying them. This is like an empress energy who's denying this person. And, um... Yeah, they're denying them. This is a sexually... Somebody's just... Yeah, here's the thief energy in reverse. Somebody's trying to subdue somebody. This is, I don't like this energy. The page of coin is in reverse here. As far as somebody being disloyal. Yeah, I get deception all through this. This is deceptive energy. Somebody's fronting. Somebody, oh, man. Clarify this page of coin in reverse, please. We got the death energy in reverse. Somebody doesn't want something to be over. They're upset that something is over.
We got the Page of Swords reversed, the Queen of Coin in reverse, the Ten of Wands reversed, the Six of Cups reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Damn, all these cards are in reverse. Somebody's not speaking to someone, or someone doesn't know. Someone's not getting something. But with the Queen of Coin in reverse here, we got the Empress and the Queen of Coin. Both of them are in reverse. Somebody is dropping somebody, and, and they don't want a new beginning with someone. Someone is no longer able, they're no longer watching someone, they're not watching them, they've let the situation go, they've let the past go. Uh, with the Knight of Wands in reverse though, and the King of Coin in reverse, this is somebody who, who I don't like this energy. Somebody's doing something to somebody, somebody, it looks like somebody's trying to set somebody up. Somebody has unrealistic expectations about coming in thinking that they're going to have sex with somebody and take from them. Yeah, somebody just doesn't get it that somebody doesn't want them anymore. Someone doesn't want to be with them anymore. They let them go. Somebody's obsessed. Yeah, this person is antsy and they can't wait to get to this person. But this person don't want to be with them no more. This person don't want a new beginning. This person has dropped them. They don't want a new beginning with them. But this person in their head... Like with the strength energy, um, you know, this is somebody who can hold their, they can hold their, you know, their desires. But in reverse, this person cannot hold their desires. And with the thief energy, they're not, um, the thief energy in, re in reverse, they're not, um, you know, sneaking about it. They're, they're just out and about with it. Somebody's obsessed. What's this waiting energy? I'm sorry this is taking so long, y'all, but this is really, um, this is not good, whatever this is, but we're going to find out a little bit more here. I want to take it to another level. Somebody's very anxious with the King of Wands in reverse. Somebody's very anxious. Uh, it could be sexual anxiety as well. They're done waiting. They're tired of waiting. With the world energy in reverse. Somebody does not want a situation to be over. The challenge is the Empress energy is rejecting this person. Empress in reverse. This person wants to serve this person. Like they're looking at this person just for sex. They don't appreciate who this person is. Like they're they're looking at this person like, okay, this person is normally an Empress energy. Male, no woman. This is somebody who is respected who uh, people look up to, this is someone who's a business owner, you know, but the way this person sees this is this person don't, they want to knock this person down a peg. Sexually, they want to serve them. Like this person is anxious to get with this person. We have the king of cups. Yeah, see, this person wants to have sex with this person. Very anxious. Your spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors are telling you to let, to let this go. Leave this alone. Don't try to pick this up. It's not going to be renewed. I feel like this person was rejected by this empress energy. Yeah, see, with the knight of pentacles in reverse, this is not going anywhere. But yet this person, they can't hold back. They can't hold back. Yeah, the knight, of, they're anxious. This is scary. This person wants to control this person. Like I said, they're not getting it. They're not getting that this situation is over. They want to do this person dirty. And then just leave them. Because this person left them. Somebody's trying to get revenge on somebody because somebody cut them off. Don't be taking nobody back that you cut off. Yeah, because they're disloyal with the page of coin in reverse and the death energy in reverse. They look at you as if you're disloyal. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to post this. We'll see. 
Yeah, we got the sun energy. Somebody sees somebody for who they are. Disloyal. It's over. And that's that. With the sun energy. Leo energy. Wow. Yeah, somebody's mad that somebody cut them off. Somebody's mad that they couldn't get to somebody. They wanted to get to somebody and do them dirty. But they could not. They could not. They were trying to plan something. They could have been trying to plan. Yeah, they were trying to plan something. But they don't want the situation to end with the world energy in reverse and the king of wands. This person don't want the situation to end and they're done waiting. They're tired of waiting to get back with this person. It's like they feel like this person, they own this person. Yeah, with the high priestess energy here. This is Piscean energy. Like this is how this person feels secretly inside. Like they feel like they own this person. And it's like, how dare you try to cut things off? You need to give me what I want. You not know, you know, yeah, see, this person is going to come in and try to pretend that they want to um, have a connection with this person. But they just want to take from them. With the Empress energy in reverse, they want to take from someone. This is someone who's greedy at heart. This is someone who's jealous, envious. Okay? And, and they want to have sex with this person or they want to take from this person. And they're going to come in with a, a strategy, you know, with the King of Swords. I mean, the King of Cups energy. This is someone who's very secretive. This is someone who right, where, um, who uh, may have their emotions and you don't even know what their emotions are. This is someone who can hide and mask their emotions. So what they're going to do is they're going to pretend that they want a relationship. But the universe is telling you this situation is over. Do not get back into this. What's this knight of coin in reverse? Do not take this person back. Yeah, with the ten of swords, they're going to betray you. They're going to betray you. Yeah, see? Here we go with the five of swords. They just want to... This is dangerous, too. You know, this is somebody who wants to get somebody back. Like I said, I sensed revenge. I sensed revenge. Somebody's in their ego. Somebody saw what was going on, though, and they cut this person off. This person is trying to come back around. Don't take nobody back. I'm telling you, don't do it. Because this person is just going to shit on you. They never gave a shit about you. See that? Toxic. Toxic. You cut this person off because you saw the toxicity in them. So you ended it with the death energy and the page of coin in reverse. You saw that this person was disloyal. Yeah. See, this person's still not getting it, though. They're after you. They want to take from you. They want to use you sexually. You know, and then with the ten of wands, they're going to drop you like a bad habit. Uh, this is what they think they're going to do. <laughs> this is what they think they're going to do. They think they're going to come in, have sex with you, and take your money. Some of you, like I said, some of you are doing well. You're financially stable. You got your own thing. And this person wants to knock you down a peg. They don't like that. You're doing well. You cut them off. You're doing well. They secretly mad at you. This is somebody who could be aggressive and who could be violent. This person may try to physically assault you in some sort of way. You have to be careful. This is ugly. This is super ugly. Super ugly. Yeah, with the four of cups in reverse here. And then knight of coin in reverse. You ended things with this person. You got clear with the seven of cups in reverse that this person was a manipulator with the magician. So with the queen of swords in reverse here, you know, this person, you cut them off. With the queen of swords in reverse and the eight of cups reverse, they want to come back. But with the five of wands energy, they want to come back with the five of wands energy. They see you as somebody who's a star that they want to knock off of your, they want to knock you off your peg. They want to come in and just use you, but you're guarded. You're guarded. Um, yeah, because this person with the hermit energy in reverse and the moon in reverse, they could be doing some, some shitty shit, some magic. Uh, but you know what they're doing. I feel like you caught this person out there. And so now they want to come back in and try to change things around. But they're working with other people. And I feel like they're all trying to come at this person who's independent and got money. Yeah, they're mad because this person cut them off. And this person is happier without them. So this person is not responding to them, not answering them, not talking. And this is why this person is getting antsy. It's like, why is this person not calling me? Why are they not talking to me? Because they dropped you like a bad habit. 
and they're victorious now because of it. And they're not talking to you. They blocked you because they're focusing on self-love. They doing what's best for them because they know that you, um, you know, are just going to bring them injustice and temperance because justice and temperance came out in reverse. Yeah, with the six of coins, but they balanced the scale because this was karmic, right? And with the knight of swords here, you know, they just stopped communicating with this person or they communicated with them until they needed to. And then that was it. Or they said something very basic and that was that the ten of coin in reverse here this person i uh, feel like they trying to come and do this person dirty because they got the ten of coin in reverse and the ten of swords upright they were coming to steal from this person coming to take from this person and with the king of cups in reverse they were going to come in and, and be manipulative because they wanted to be the emperor to that empress energy that they wanted to knock down off of the uh pedestal yeah because see after that comes toxicity yeah see they just coming for money the emperor and the devil energy. This is somebody who's coming to take over somebody's empire. Yeah, because this person is upset because they got over them with the three of swords energy and, and they ended shit with the death card. Yeah, this person mourned the loss with the five of cups. But, um, you know, this person was playing games. And so that's what they want to do. They want to come back in, play games, and keep this person stuck with the six of swords in reverse energy. With the sun card, this person is in their fucking ego. You know, um, there's a power and control issue here. Uh, but this person is being asked to make the right decision, but what they're not, they're not going to do that. What they're going to do is they're going to lie with the Ace of Swords energy just to get back in, right, with the Five of Pentacles. But what's going to happen is when they get back in, you're going to find out this person is a fucking con artist with the uh, King of Swords reverse here. And with the three of corn, with the three of cups here, they're gonna talk about oh, let's make up, let's reunite, let's reconnect. But they're trying to figure out the best way to do that and trying to get to your house and where you live, right? Because they want the cycle to end of you two not speaking and them not you you know you not giving them any. This person just wants to use this person sexually. I feel this is an incubus succubus energy chasing after somebody who realized who they were and cut them the fuck off. Now this person is going bonkers. They're going into they're going into withdrawal. OK, the page of wands in reverse here. You're not interested in this person. You're um, in your high priestess energy, minding your business. You're not. This person don't know where you at. And so with the queen of wands in reverse, they're mad because they can't with the eight of coin in reverse come in and take advantage of you and use you with the seven of wands energy here and the nine of wands in reverse. They're trying to figure out where you are because I, they, somebody could be trying to come in and be physical. Try to strong arm you. This is what I was scared of when I saw this Ten of Swords energy and this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This person may want to get physical with you, physically violent with you because you don't want to be with them anymore. But you saw this person for who they were with the Eight of Swords reverse and with the Four of Swords reverse, you might got a little nervous and uncomfortable with this person. But with the Chariot energy, you know that you found out that this person was a little off. Okay, with the seven of coin energy here in reverse, this is all about them coming wanting something for nothing. All right, and with the knight of Cup, knight, knight of cups energy, they're very fickle. They'll come in and out and do what they want. This person just wants to come in and out and do what they want with you. And you stood up to them and said, "Get the fuck out of here." And they're mad about that. Yeah, with the three of wands in reverse, you cut everything off with this person because you avoided a disaster with them. With the tower energy and with the queen of cups, you're focused on yourself, taking care of yourself. Right. So this person is in their fucking ego with the uh, Hierophant energy in reverse. Like, this is somebody who thinks that, you know, their shit don't stink and that you should bow down to them. Okay? Um, and they're really pissed because you broke things off with them with the Two of Cups in reverse. They want a new beginning with this Ace of Wands. And so they're going to keep coming. This person is crazy. I don't like this energy at all. I told you I was feeling something weird about this shit. You got a demon on you. Somebody's, somebody is a demon. You got a demon chasing you. <sighs> Shit. Damn. Tales of the eighth house, I tell you. Hidden people's hidden feelings and hidden emotions. Somebody is obsessed with somebody. Somebody is mad that somebody cut them off and they're looking at you like, oh, really, bitch? Is that what you think you're going to do? You think you're going to cut me off? Well, I'll show you. I don't like this energy. For some of you, it's a twin flame that you're dealing with. Hopefully, you learned the lesson and will not take this person back because this person does not mean you well at all. At all. It's like a control thing with them. 
It's like, who the fuck do you think you are? Where the fuck do you think you're going? You see what I'm saying here? Bitch, you're not going nowhere. Who the fuck do you think you are? If I got to come in and lie to you and tell you, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you what I want to tell you, but... Yeah, this person, see, I'm surprised the Obsessed card didn't come out yet. Yeah, see, underneath, you guys are on two totally different pages. Mm-hmm. Where, where's this Obsession card? Because I know this person is obsessed with you. They are sexually obsessed with you. Yeah, see, this is a past life love. We know that it's a twin flame. So you're supposed to learn from this, okay? This person is addicted to you. They're addicted to you. They're going to want to come in with forgiveness, and they're going to want to be friends. Here they come with an apology. Children, be careful. You might get pregnant by this person, okay? They just want to have fun and play. That's all they want to do. So you're going to have to decide what you're going to do. But this person can't accept the fact that the situation is over because you were giving too much to this situation and they liked it. And then you realized it and snapped out of it and you separated yourself from this person, okay? And then um, you, you, you spent some time with yourself and you regret it, you know, that you put yourself in this situation. But had you not come out of it, it would have stayed like this forever, this person would have used you for your money, okay? Um, I, don't, I don't think that go, goes with it. But, um, yeah, this was a faded partnership. This was meant for you to, you were supposed to learn something from this connection. You know, the, the universe is telling you don't dismiss the red flags. This person may come in talking about I want to marry you, okay? But you're not supposed to marry them. You're supposed to sit and chill because you're going to find out why they're coming at you for this. You're going to find out that they're coming at you for bullshit. They're just trying to get in your pockets. Um, yeah. Yeah. And you're going to see, okay, the situation doesn't align with your morals and values with this person because they're fucking obsessed. They're thirsty for you, and they can't handle rejection. The universe is telling you don't go back to this person. Focus on the here and now. Let this person go. Put boundaries up right now because the universe has got new love for you, true love for you. But you have to trust in the universe and trust in your intuition and know that you need to do something different. That you've never done before. And that is to stay away from this person and not keep taking them back. Yeah, take the leap of faith. Let this go. This person is dealing with other people, okay? There's some interference here. This person has other motives. This person was meant to teach you a lesson about yourself. Do not allow yourself to be vulnerable for this person. They're going to come back and want a second chance. But if you even get around this person or you even let them in, don't get intimate with them right away. OK, because the timing is not quite right. You're going to find out that this person is just coming to you because they need some fucking support. That's it. That's why they're around. They need you to take care of them. They ain't got no place to stay. They might have got put out by the other person they were dealing with. Like people are getting their karma right now with Neptune and retrograde. Mercury, Mercury retrograde is like a little a little dot on the map compared to <laughs> the big ass black ink spot that you're going to see that Mer ne uh, Neptune retrograde is going to leave. And we're going through this all summer. Neptune retrograde is pulling off the glasses, the rose-colored glasses, so you can see shit for what it really is. This is why it's important for you to go slow and be patient, okay, and wait and pay attention to the red flags, okay? This is a spiritual lesson. This is a test, if you want that true love, that real love, do not take this old person back. There's no reason for you to take someone back who never treated you right. They're not, they've not changed. They're just going, going through karma. Karma's kicking their ass right now. And so they're looking for someone they can depend on, someone they can lean on. And they've always leaned on you. They've always used you because there's always been an imbalance in this connection. Okay, you need to exercise some firm boundaries right now and release this situation and understand that this person, you know, they didn't give you what you needed because they couldn't. This person is not for you. Okay, they're not for you. All right. So for some of you, they're going to come in and be like, oh, I want to marry you. Okay, and you're going to sit here and think, oh, all this time you finally want to No, they see you doing well. They just want to drain you and take you. You were given too much to the situation, except that this person is not for you. They're not for you. That's what I got for you. Man or woman, do not take your exes back. They are in the midst of receiving karma. Mercury, I'm sorry, Neptune is in retrograde in the house of Pisces. Pisces is the house of karma. All of us are getting our karma right now. The people who were doing people dirty are getting their karma right now. What are they doing? They're looking for some comfort. Okay? So they're looking for the people that they used to shit on who used to allow them to get away with things to comfort them while they're going through their karma that they're getting from all the other people and all the other dirt and shit that they did. 
And if you take this person back, guess what happens? First of all, you got treated shitty by them and you got enough strength to get away from it. Then if you take them back, not only are they going to treat you like shit again because they just need a place to rest their head and to hide from other people, okay? Not only are they going to use you again, you're going to get all the karma that's coming to them because they're in your energy. And the universe is going to say, oh, this is what you like because you keep taking it back. So this person's got karma coming, so we're going to give it to you too. Don't be that person. Don't be that fool. Do not take these people back. Some of them got people chasing after them. Some of them got people looking for them. Some of them are mad because they can't control you and they want to come in and knock you upside your head for playing with them. Because they think that they run shit. They think that you're supposed to just be there and do what they want and say what they and, 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 and cater to them. And how dare you stand up for yourself and step away from them? A narcissist don't like that shit. You're dealing with a narcissist. <laughs> a narcissist don't like that. And as soon as they get you back with the king with the um strength energy in reverse and the king of wands, they might beat your ass. They just might. But they just using you. You already know this. Don't take them back. Peace out.